what's up guys? This is the Fractal Arc. I'm hanging out at Wendell's uh, studio here. Wendell's office, I should say, just outside of uh, Lexington, Kentucky. And he's got tons of gear, so I wanted to take a look at some of it, even though, you know, some of you have seen it, some of you have not. So, uh, what do we have here, Wendell? This is the uh, Fractal Design Arc MIDI. Um, this case is a mid-tower case. Um, it's got a really nice sort of powder coat on the metal. Uh, it's got a really nice sort of matte finish to the plastic. It's got this... Uh, mesh metal mesh in the top and the front Look at that beautiful honeycomb uh, indeed the, there are two fans mounted behind here 240 millimeter fans uh, there are dust filters in the in the top and uh, front and bottom uh, fan intakes so mm -hmm. you can keep it clean depending on your fan configuration uh, there are two five and a quarter inch drive bays here they are you know full depth drive bays uh, the case does come with a mounting kit and replacement faceplate if you wanted to have a three and a half inch device are they great for like a memory card reader or something? Your front panel controls uh, are all on the top. They're Let's go through these real quick, starting from the other yeah, one there. Uh, reset, uh, your headphone and microphone jacks, your power button, two USB 2 and one USB 3 port are on the top. This is a really nice minimalist uh, design. Yeah, it truly really like is, it. and uh, also no blinking lights or anything like that, right? No. LEDs in the fans. Yeah, it comes with three fans, but they're not illuminated. It's a it's a really great case if you just want a, a really well designed workhorse case. Uh, let's see the side here. Now that's that's an aftermarket fan. Yeah, that it doesn't come with uh, the the side panel fan. It, it'll take uh, 140 or 180 on the side, mm -hmm. um, so you can have a, a really nice airflow. Okay, let me take a look at the back here. You mind turning that around for me? Uh, 120, 140 fan mount, the motherboard option. There are some you can. Uh, uh, run uh, cables for your water cooling if you have an external mm, uh, pump or whatever. Right. Um, it's got an extra expansion slot here. You know how motherboards come with USB headers and your extra connectors and things like that? It's a, it's, it's a convenient place to put it. It also comes with a fan controller that you can put there, then your expansion slots and your power supply. It also comes with these cool black screws so you can have no silver coat on it. When I say that this thing is powder coated everywhere, I mean this thing is powder coated everywhere. There's not bare metal anywhere on this case. Very pretty. Let's open it up, shall we? All right, we've got the side panel off and we're looking inside now. So starting down here at the bottom, Wendell, what do we got here? Um, uh, this is the power supply mount. The fan exhausts out the back. Um, there is a, it comes with a, a dust filter that's removable. Yep. Nice. Uh, the dust filter covers uh, the power supply fan and the other fan in the, in the bottom. Yep, you just clean that off if it gets dusty, which is nice. Um, Moving up, I've got um, two 5770 graphics cards. These are older, but they're triple output, and I use this machine for work. So. Yeah, you've got about 9,000 monitors over there. That's really handy. <laughs> yeah. um, all of the slot covers that it comes with are white. There are seven. There's also this extra slot here um, that you can mount the fan controller it comes with. Uh, it yep. comes with a single port uh, analog fan controller. Or you could use this for your USB 3 ports, you know, your extra port connector that comes with the motherboard. It's, right. a, it's a really convenient location. You could also mount one of the uh, expansion slot coolers blowing directly over your video cards. Speaking of the GPU, I know we've got a G, uh, GX2, one of the ultimate GX2, but these, these are huge. I just want to show everyone how much room you have in here. Yeah, so here's the 9800GX2. Um, you know, if we just sort of line it up here. With that in place, you've still got an extra inch of clearance. Yeah, and also I want to note that these... Uh, hard drive um, cages, they do come out as well. So if you need any more space, you can slide them out. We'll show them that in a minute though, but plenty of room in there. This is one of the biggest graphics cards ever made. The, uh, the bottom hard drive cage is fixed to the case, but the top one will pull straight out right. and rotate. Right, um, we'll show them that in a second. Right, moving on up here. What, um, what, what motherboard do you have in there, just for reference, so people can see that's the Sabertooth, right? Yeah, this is the uh, uh, LGA 2011 uh, Sabertooth from Asus with uh, 3930K. Yeah. Uh, the Corsair H100 cooler, uh, the Mushkin Redline RAM. Right. Um, that's pretty much it. There's a 140 millimeter fan. Uh, the case comes with three fans. All right. Uh, there's, uh, they're not lit up, which is uh, which I like. I don't really need it to. To glow or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, there's two in the front. So this is not a Honda Accord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> Trick it out. <laughs> so the uh, the the fan in the back is um, uh, set up for a, an exhaust configuration. It does have an extra set of mounting holes if you wanted to use 120 millimeter. That would be fine. Right. Um, in the top. Uh, well, anybody want to remove a 140 and put a 120? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the top. There's a lot of options on the top. It's actually one of the nicer things about the case. We've taken the top off. It comes with a nice... Uh, I like things that are topless. <laughs> it comes with a nice uh, top with a dust filter. Um, because I've got this set up as an exhaust, I've taken the dust filter off. But 
And lots and lots of mounting options here, right? So Yeah, this is the it's set up one, right now. With 120, the, right? Yeah, well it's right now it's set up for dual one twenties with the H one hundred. It's got these cool oval mounting holes mm -hmm. to make it easy to make mount the uh, Corsair H one hundred water cooler. But there's also a uh, hundred and eighty millimeter um, kit here. So you can mount one large 180 millimeter, or you could do two 140s mm -hmm. or two 120s. Um, and then also up here in the front. Yeah, you've also got this other area where you could do a 120, 140. It's really convenient to have the H100 holes already cut. This will work with a lot of the aftermarket um, water cooling units on, uh, that are out there. So that's really, really handy. The other thing I'd, I'd point out if you're using the H100, check out the clearance that you get on your motherboard. The motherboard tray is back here. This H100 is not set up for a push-pull configuration, right. but if it were, it would push it down about another inch or so. But check out the clearance you've got between the RAM and the side of the H100. You've got plenty of room, even for really tall RAM modules, even if you wanted to run the H100 in a push-pull configuration in this right. case. It would be close, but yeah, you'd have room. And the thumb screws, all black. Yeah, it comes with black thumb screws and black regular screws, so you can mount your power supply and external peripherals with black screws and have no, no silver showing. Right. So you've got everything tied down? Yep. Okay. All the cables from the power supply come in here and are just sort of routed there. I see there's a hole there for mounting the cooler on the back. And then the back of the motherboard tray, it's nice to have that cut out. It's really handy. Uh, everything's easily accessible from the back. There's cable management options down here where the power supply is. Uh, and there's some there where the hard drives are, and then some more up at the top uh, for your five and a uh, five and a half inch base. Another really nice feature of this case. Five and a half, five and a quarter. It's got a. Did I say five and a half or five and a quarter? What did I just say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, moving on. Um, there's some slots that are cut for cable ties that are really nice that are everywhere you'd want to put cables, so you can feed zip ties or cable ties through. Well, that's nice too. So in the top, there are two five and a quarter inch bays. Uh, I've got a CD-ROM in the, in the first one and the second one's empty. Um, it does come with a uh, three and a half inch uh, cover if you need to use a three and a half inch drive. Um, then there are eight three and a half inch bays. These are all, of course, uh, oh, that one's screwed in. Let's do this one. There are trays. Uh, the trays take optional thumb screws on the side so you can lock them in. There are mounting holes for two and a half inch drives and then rubber grommets for three and a half inch drives. They also give you a couple of options for placement of the drive. You can have the drive a little far forward, a little farther forward or a little farther backward. So you've got options if you're trying to cram a lot of video and, and drives in here if you have it turned the other way. The uh, three and a half inch bays are, uh, the top set is removable. It can be removed completely. Just to get power cable out there. Uh, there are slots cut in the side so that you can have good airflow even when it's mounted in a, in a sideways configuration with the 140 millimeter fan here. But you can also turn it like this so that you'll get better airflow over the drives. However, the uh, uh, removable trays will stick into the inside of your case if you do that. So you can mount it like that if you want. Yeah, if, you need, if you need extra space you can do it like this and then it can be secured with thumb screws. Thumb screw at the top, thumb screw at the bottom. Right about there. All right, is there anything that you would change about this case since you've had it for a little while, Wendell? Um, not really. The, the only thing that's a little disappointing is that there's not more USB 3 connectivity on the top of the case. Yeah. But the one USB 3 port is kind of nice. I mean, the cables are all wired, pre-wired for two ports, so I, don't, I guess I don't really understand why they didn't put another USB 3 port in the top, but right you know other than that I, I don't really have any complaints it's it's a really great workhorse case it's got really good airflow right. I'm very satisfied with it for the money yeah for the money uh, we're gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10 very nice case very nice looking good style and uh, as far as functionality goes you can do a lot with it 